and welcome to another What I Eat in a Day pregnant video, vegan, prego, see? <laughs> um, so today I was going to actually film the potato mushroom stew, but I forgot to get mushrooms. <laughs> kind of important. So I'm going to film it probably next week um, or, you know, in January. I wanted to have it up before Christmas, but I don't really think it's that great of a like Christmas day recipe anyway. It's just more of a winter day recipe. So I will be getting it up because I do make it once a week, but right now I don't have all the ingredients because I'm stupid and I forgot the mushrooms. So today I'm just going to be showing you guys what I ate and how I made it as much as I can. And today is kind of busy. Olivia is going to be coming home early from a field trip. So I actually already started off. It's about 11.30, but I'm quite hungry now because um, I had breakfast at like 6.30. Um, I had my amaranth. It's puffed up amaranth. It's a grain that's like really high in iron. Um, like chocolatey cereal. There's nuts and oats and like chocolate cornflakes in there. It's really yummy with some spelt milk. And I'm quite hungry now and I'm making myself like a big brunch with a big green smoothie, or it's not gonna be big, but you know, a green smoothie and some French toast because I had some leftover flaxseed egg, which I will put a link in the description box how I make my flaxseed egg and it does last in the fridge up to about three days. So let's go ahead and get started. So because this is a little bit thick right now, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more milk, quite a bit more, maybe like a cup more milk. I'm just gonna mix that together. This is how I do it, the leftover version. I could maybe make like a full video on how you do this because I realized that this isn't a very easy recipe, I think. I think it takes time to master this one, so I think more clear instructions might be needed, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add some cinnamon to the mixture as well. And then just go ahead and oil my pan. I'm just gonna use some coconut oil. Um, because it just turns out a lot better if there's oil at the bottom of the pan. just finished up with my lunch and I've been really really tired come like four or five o'clock again it's kind of annoying so I think that meal prepping is a really good idea for me today just in case I start feeling really tired because yesterday I was super tired and cranky and I just didn't want to make anything and I just didn't know what to make. I've prepped it so it's super duper easy. I'm going to be making you'll see what else I'm going to make but I'm also going to be making like an Asian fried rice with this purple cabbage, which will probably turn my rice purple, but that should be interesting. It's the only vegetable we have. Carrots, onions, I've got some crumpled up tofu, which is gonna act as the egg, garlic, onion. Now I'm just gonna marinate it so it tastes a little nicer. Tofu is particularly good when it's marinated in something for a while, so I'm gonna pour some soy sauce in there. I'm gonna add some black pepper quite a bit. I really like this recipe to be really peppery. We already have the fresh garlic so I'm not gonna add any garlic powder so I guess that's it. Hey guys, so it is dinner time. It has just been such a gross day for me. Like I've just cleaned all day and I just feel gross because I cleaned all day. Like I feel like the house is clean, but I'm disgusting now. So um, my neighbors are coming home, they're watching me vlog. Um, so I'm going to be making along with that stir fried rice, which we had the vegetable sauteing. I think there's something going on on my camera. Hang on, clean you guys off there. You're a little bit dirty too. Were you guys doing cleaning today? Okay, so I'm going to be making alongside the tofu fried rice, I'm going to be making kimchi stew. Now I have been following Mommy Tang for quite some time. She does not make much mukbangs anymore. She's a mom of four kids. Don't blame her. I love Korean food now, thanks to her. She showed this kimchi recipe. I love kimchi now. I mean, it's, I'm not gonna get all the like great probiotic benefits because it's gonna be cooked. Um, but in case you don't know what kimchi is, it is 
basically like a sauerkraut, but like the Korean version is what I like to call it. It's super hard to get a hold of. We don't have that many Korean supermarkets in my area. So um, this supermarket had some, but it was with curry. So I think this is gonna be interesting. Usually it's just with like chili paste and stuff like that. But I'm gonna make it spicy with this. I'm just compromising here. I've been craving this, basically. So it's um, Napa cabbage that's been fermented. Um, to make it taste good, because this traditional recipe, according to Mommy Tang, calls for lard, we're using margarine to just give it some interestingness. And I have margarine because the holidays are coming and we're gonna be making cookies. You're gonna need some sushi paper or kelp for the broth. I do have some dry mushrooms, not fresh ones. And yeah, that's about it. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I make my quick and easy version. I'm just gonna put in my kimchi. I'm not making a big batch because probably only I'm gonna eat this. It's a little bit weird for hubby and the kids. Um, they're not into it, but I like it a lot. We're getting to the time of the day where Leia comes in scavengering. She's always hungry. Dinner time's at six, because that's when Huppy gets home. So I'm gonna throw in all my sauteed veggies. There we have it, guys. There's dinner, a very cabbage-y dinner. Just, I just really wanted some cabbage. So the stir fry is really good. I know it looks gross because of the purple cabbage because it just bleed it just bled onto everything but it's freaking amazing it tastes so good like restaurant style um the soup is really nice and spicy a little bit sour it's like a sweet and sour soup is the best i can describe it and it's got a lot of nice cabbage in there i put some rice at the bottom as well and the butter gives it a bit of a rich interesting flavor and the seaweed makes it kind of seafoody the soy sauce makes it very Asian, so all in all, very Asian cabbage -y dinner. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I'll probably eat something else, like a hot chocolate. I'll have to remember to film that because I've got to edit this exactly after I filmed it because I need to get a video up for Vlogmas. So, all right, hope you guys enjoyed.